In Singapore, where the Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System, RTS Link project has been formally deferred by six months to September 30th. This was announced by the Malaysian and Singaporean Transport Minister in a joint agreement signing ceremony and media conference today. Both countries today officially signed the Supplemental Agreement, SA, for suspension of the project. Transport Minister Anthony Lok Siu Fook and his Singapore counterpart Khao Boon Wan sealed the agreement to formalise the suspension at Singapore's Transport Ministry. Malaysia would also reimburse Singapore about 2 million ringgit by July 31st as abortive costs incurred as a result of the six-month suspension. According to Lok, under the original agreement, the one-way fare was set at 15 ringgit and would burden some Malaysians who travel to Singapore daily for work. Uh, very much on our part, we really hope that uh, this project can proceed. But in other forms and other approaches that we have to take into consideration, of course, key to that is the cost of the project. And that is a major uh, consideration that uh, on the Malaysian part. And on the Malaysian part, of course, we are looking at uh, how the uh, private sector uh, can play a role in this project as well. We hope that the RTS link project will resume at the end of the suspension period, either in its current form as prescribed in a bilateral agreement or incorporating any project scope changes that both sides agree on during the suspension period. If not, the RTS link project will be deemed to have been terminated by Malaysia and Malaysia will reimburse Singapore for the costs we have incurred. The bilateral agreement on the RTS link was signed in January last year. The project was initially scheduled for construction this year and is expected to be completed by December 2024.